All right, well, here's the uh, update for the week. Um, we got a bit done, as you can see. Like I said in the other video, I solved the uh, problem with the blackout over here with the uh, Texaco station, so that's all settled. And then we got the donut shop. We'll get close over there so you can see the neon. Now we got two different colors of neon on that now. And the, uh, the decals I used for the uh, Randy's uh, donut sign on there uh, fell off, started peeling off, so I gotta paint that on or something or come up with something different. But I like the way the neon shows off the donut though. And then over here, we got the new sign. I still gotta do something with that piece of neon that's coming down, but. There we go. And we got the uh, cool wires, electroluminescent wire running around it. And uh, inside is uh, Evans Designs uh, LED kit. So that looks really good in there. And over here, we did quite a bit to the uh, diner. Unfortunately, the uh, sign that I ordered to replace the sign that was not working properly before has the same problem, brand new sign. So I'm uh, working with uh, Miller Engineering to uh, come up with a solution for the problem. So hopefully we can get that back up or get a different diner sign on there. But we, uh, I, you can see where I put the neon on. I used yellow on this one. Did a lot of cleaning up on the inside, uh, cut out that back wall. You can see, let me try to get a little closer here. There we go. Let's see if we can see that. Get that a little better in focus. There we go. So I moved the counter from one side of the building to the other put a guy in the behind there to work and uh, added in a, the uh, one of my jukeboxes and uh, pinball machine from Pete's 3D and just added a few figures in there made it look a little more lively eventually when I find some decent uh, decals to put up behind the uh, counter to make it a little look a little bit looks a little bare back there right now but it looks a lot better than it did back up a little bit so you can see all that okay sorry about the camera bobbing and then over here we got the Zippo factory is up and running And that's just an old uh, HO scale building that I picked up and put a little larger doors on it. Add a few LEDs to light up the outside. Got the sign up on top. Let's see the, the difference there. Makes one heck of a difference, doesn't it? So basically, uh, what else next? I just got a bunch of uh, little stuff to do as far as um, I got to put some fencing up, uh, put some grass in around the restaurant, put the fence up around the factory. Uh, my buddy uh, Tony's got a Quonset hut coming, so that'll go back in there once I get that built. Um, we'll just keep moving on. Well, we got a lot to do uh, right now. Money's a little tight, so we're not going to be buying a whole lot of stuff. We're just going to build with what we have for now, for just a little while. Let's see. Let's back up and get a nice clear shot of everything. So, we 
got it going here. And uh, please uh, like and subscribe and uh, share and comment. And uh, helps me a lot. Appreciate it. I do appreciate all my subscribers. So please uh, keep uh, watching. We got a lot going on. Thanks.